Hey everyone, my name is Gandolin, and welcome to another World of Warcraft guide. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock Dark Iron Dwarves as an allied race. Let's start with some general info. Dark Irons were added in patch 8.0 as an allied race for the Alliance. Available classes include Hunter, Mage, Monk, Paladin, Priest, Rogue, Shaman, Warlock, and Warrior. Dark Iron Hunters start with a Blazehound pet, which has a unique appearance. Paladins can summon the Dark Forge Ram as a unique mount. And Shamans have unique totems that look like anvils. Dark Irons also have unique character customization options, as well as jokes and flirts. And they have their own set of racial traits. Dungeon Delver passively increases your movement speed by 4% while indoors. Fireblood is an active ability that removes all poison, disease, curse, magic, and bleed effects, and increases your primary stat by 100 for each effect removed. Forged in Flames passively reduces the damage you take from physical attacks by 1%. Mass Production increases blacksmithing crafting speed by 25% and skill by 5 points. And then they can summon a mole machine, which can transport you to a variety of locations. By default, the machine can take you to Stormwind, Ironforge, and Shadowforge City. But there are many other locations that can be unlocked by interacting with mole machines scattered throughout the world. Check the link in the description for a list of places you can unlock. Now let's talk about how you unlock this allied race. There are two criteria you need to complete, both of which should be worked on at the same time. The first is to reach Exalted with the Seventh Legion. There are many ways to gain reputation with this faction. The primary source and the one you'll probably spend the most time doing will be World Quests. World Quests across all three Zandalar zones award Seventh Legion rep, and make sure you also complete the Emissary Quest whenever it's available, as it awards a large chunk too. Another source is Warfronts. During the contribution phase, there will be three quests every day you can complete that award rep. And then during the patrol phase, there will be war quests in the Warfront zone that give 7th Legion rep as well. Faction assaults happen every 19 hours in one of the six BFA zones and award rep both from the war quests they bring and the assault quest itself, so make sure you do as many of those as you can. And then the quests available as part of the war campaign give rep as well. There are also a few other smaller sources of rep. The mission table on your ship can have missions that award 7th Legion rep. There's also the Rusted Alliance insignia, which can sometimes drop when completing an island expedition. Giving it to the 7th Legion Quartermaster in Borellus awards you with some rep. And lastly, you can use a contract that will give you some 7th Legion rep when completing any BFA world quests. Make sure you also keep an eye out for the Dark Moon Fair and World Quest bonus event, as both can boost your rep gains. The other criteria to unlock Dark Irons is to complete the Alliance version of Ready for War. This achievement tracks your progress through the 8.0 War Campaign storyline. You first start by unlocking footholds in Zandalar as you level up through Kulturus. Once you hit 120, you start to work through the rest of the chapters in order. Each one is locked behind a certain amount of 7th Legion rep, so if you get stuck, keep working on your rep until you can pick up the next chapter. Once you complete these two criteria, go to the Stormwind Embassy to pick up the quest Blackrock Depths from Moira. This starts the recruitment questline. Once you finish that, you'll be able to create a Dark Iron Dwarf on your account. You'll also be awarded with the Dark Iron Corehound mount, which can be used by any Alliance character. The last thing I want to mention is the Heritage Armor for this allied race. You can unlock it by leveling a Dark Iron up to 110 without using any kind of level boosts. Once you earn it, any Dark Iron character on your account can use it. And that's how to unlock Dark Iron Dwarves. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.